Well, speaking of technology <laughs> and manufacturing, uh, technology is changing the way that we use and develop our supply chains. And you know, as we roll out more technology, things like uh, 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 augment, um, uh, <laughs> artificial, artificial intelligence, intelligence thank yeah, you very much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> artificial intelligence and augmented reality and the industrial internet of things mm -hmm. and RFID tagging and GPS tracking and so forth. Companies struggle to keep up with or even use the data. And that is coming in, uh, that is coming in. And, and, and all this can make supplier development a headache or a nightmare. Um, where do you start? You know, what tools do you use? Uh, what software do you use? Does it even make financial sense? to pursue some of the formal supplier development. Well, a lot of groundwork has already been done in this area in the automotive, semiconductor, and medical devices, and aerospace industries with supplier development. And each of these industries has their own specific methods on how they handle supplier improvement and supplier development. And other industries can learn from that. Uh, you know, what has worked uh, best and why? How can you design win-win strategies with suppliers? Well, here to talk uh, with us today to talk about supplier development is Chad Keimel of Omnix. Hi, Chad. Hi, Dirk. Oh. How are you guys doing today? We're doing good. Good. Thanks, Chad. Thanks for joining us. Um, so let's start with supplier development. What what really does that mean uh, from your perspective, and 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 how do you you consider it important for industry? So you know, we're talking about you know, these industries that have a good supplier management, supplier improvement uh, process and methodology. These, uh, these companies, you know, these organizations typically have certain requirements for the supply base that by itself becomes a supply improvement. For example, you know, the aerospace industry has AS9100. The automotive industry has IATF 16949 and so on. And from time to time, these industries also will put in requirements for, let's say, Lean Six Sigma, or an award program, which, you know, companies will aspire for, which, which, you know, which will be, you know, really good for them, but also they will have to really improve themselves. So typically, when you think about supply improvement, or the supply improvement programs Omnex has been a part of, it's typically to, you know, to reduce parts per million defects. It is to reduce cost. So they sometimes we'll do a Lean Six Sigma program that we take a part with and we work with the supply base. Sometimes it's on new product development. So impl implementing uh, methodologies like APQP and FMEAs, or uh, failure mode effects analysis. And all of these you know, supply improvement programs you know, either help help the supplier and the and the customer in new product development, parts per million defects, or example cost with Lean and Six Sigma. And, and Chad, you know, you mentioned you, you mentioned uh, several several industries earlier here. Uh, can you give me an example of uh, what, I guess what you'd call best in class supplier development that that you've run across in in I don't know aerospace or automotive or something. Absolutely, Dirk. Uh, in fact, a paper that you know I'm, I'm writing for Quality Digest, and then later doing in a webinar, cites several different improvement projects we're a part of. I mean, being a 30, 32, or 33 year old company now, you know, we had a start in uh, the 1980s, working with what is called a, you know, they called it a Deming. Dr. Deming helped Ford write this Q101 standard. Great standard huge improvement in the supply base. So that's something we were a part of. Then after that, we actually helped Ford with something called quality operating systems, writing that methodology, but that was aimed at top management. I mean, you have better go fast. We also helped, the semiconductor industry came from Silicon Valley where you, you, know, you guys are in California, came looking for a partner, and we ended up helping everybody in Silicon Valley and all the suppliers in Asia. All right, but the one I want to talk to you about is something we did for Volvo truck in Southeast Asia. Volvo, by the way, a very successful launch with Questor truck. It was considered the most successful uh, launch in Questor truck. How did they do it? Well, they had green fields in China, India, and Thailand, three new plants 
that's called high risk by the way, <laughs> new product and 200 new suppliers. Wow. And we got a chance to work with each of those suppliers. We assessed them and, and there's a very comprehensive assessment, really wonderful Volvo uh, assessment that we helped work with. And we came up with improvement points for each of the suppliers and then worked with them over a period of a year to improve them and help them do something is called a PPAP, a production part approval process. But that was just an outcome. We actually helped them in all facets of their, of their organization using this assessment and using this action plan for improvement. So, you know, especially when answering that question, let me cite this Volvo truck Quester product launch we were a part of as uh, you know, just considered one of the most successful product launches by, by Volvo as one of our very successful best-in-class programs. So Chad, finally, in a couple minutes we have left here for you. Uh, we talked, to Dirk talked in his intro a little bit about technology. Uh, so maybe you can help us understand how supplier development uh, is affected and impacted by things like artificial intelligence or machine learning and, and, and things like that. So uh, Mike, we have been, very hard at work at Omnix. You know, we, we know quality 4.0, or what we call uh, disruptive technologies, as the U US calls it, and industry 4.0 is imminently at us. So one of the things we are doing, and this is for all the listeners out there, all, you know, in the day-to-day -day drudgery work that we all do is going to go away. So one of the things we ourselves have done is we have built an AI machine learning platform on the Omnix software supply quality management system suite. Let me give you some examples of what this will do. So typically in best in class company organizations, when there's a failure, you will ask your supplier to fill out what is called an AD, or a discipline problem solving. It can be any, any method, of course. And uh, in the future, in the near future, because we're working on the future now, your, your AD will be evaluated by the software when you're entering it in, and then later on, it will let you know if the problem description was any good, the root causes are right, if the corrective action is action-oriented, and, and all the different things, uh, evaluations that, that it will do, and it'll track the AD and make sure the AD is completed a problem solving is completed. As an example, your supplier, you know, assessments, I'm oh, sorry, not the assessments as much as your, your product package for new product development. Imagine that's going to be qualified, dimensional reports are going to be examined, all of that going to be examined by AI and machine learning. So we are into a wonderful time, and we've had very good success working with AI and machine learning and the SMEs in, in helping make this happen. So Chad, when, when, you, when you're saying it examines the, the 8D, you're saying that it looks at what the, what the user is input into the various fields, you know, the, the root cause and so forth, and it tries to discern whether that makes sense or? or yeah, is it a good, this is, you know, in fact, so when we teach uh, supplier quality engineers, they have to be good enough to understand how to evaluate uh, AD. It's a talent that comes after many years. We're going to be able to actually get that done, you know, um, right off the shoot. Let me just tell you a little bit more what this will do. Once you identify what is a problem and what is the root cause, it actually happened, right? It'll help you transfer that into the FMEA failure mode effects analysis, which is a preventive tool to make sure it doesn't happen in the future. So all these different linkages and the evaluations of what a human can do will be done with software, with AI and machine learning in the future. Yeah. Interesting, so that's going to free, free up a lot more time for, the, uh, for people to do things that are more important than enter, uh, enter information You're on a form. Absolutely, if there is a job out there as a drudgery work, Yep. that somebody is examining day in and day out, that is going to disappear in the next five years. All right, well, 
Chad Kaimo, CTO of Omnix Incorporated. Um, thanks for joining us. If you'd like to learn more about this topic, you'll want to mark your calendar for Tuesday, October 9th. That's when Chad will be presenting a webinar titled Supplier Development Strategies Case Studies. And uh, there'll be more of what Chad was just talking about mm -hmm. here. The event gets started at 2 p.m. Eastern, 11 a.m. Pacific. And again, that's uh, Tuesday, October 9th. Yep. Register now if you haven't already uh, for that, and uh, be sure to join up. Uh, it's going to be an action-packed webinar. Chad uh, always does a great job. And yeah, Thank Chad you guys. And by, by the way, I believe you're actually having kind of a panel discussion on this one. Is that right? Yes, we are. We have invited three of our, you know, suppliers from different industries to take a part in a in a panel discussion, and uh, you know, and make it an interactive session to provide value to all the listeners. Yeah. Perfect. Well, you have a little extra time out there, everyone, to register for this. You have uh, almost two full weeks, so make sure you get get on the stick and register for that one. It's going to be a good presentation. Yeah. There will Chad. be uh, there will be a link uh, there will be a link to that webinar underneath mm -hmm. the player page. Not this one right now, but in a few uh, probably in about an hour, it'll be down there. Yep. You can click that link and go out and register, or you will be getting information in yeah. your email inbox. So be sure to look for that and sign up. These webinars are always really good. They fill up, and uh, they're always very interactive. So That's you'll right. get a lot of good questions for Chad. So thanks, Chad.